welcome to it. Well, I'm not ring on yet. I need to put that on. But welcome to another installment of my weekly vlogs. We don't have a lot planned for this week. I think this weekend we're gonna try to get downtown and just kind of walk around before it gets too cold outside to really like enjoy downtown. So I think we're gonna do that, kind of see the murals, any cute shops, um, avoid Broadway at all costs, because that's just a lot. So I think we're gonna do that Sunday, because Saturday um, we have plans with some neighbors. We are going to be doing like a little Halloween dinner so that'll be fun um but other than that we don't really have a lot planned austin is currently at the dmv or as they call it like a driving center trying to get his tennessee license um i did not have time to go because literally he went pretty early and there was a line out the door about 20 people out the door which you know i've just never been in a situation where like it was that hard <laughs> to get something done at the dmv it's usually pretty pretty quick and you can make appointments oh i wonder if we can make appointments here i need to do that oh, got a little bit of green there that's okay um i need to check into that because i not only need to get my license switched over i also got my marriage license so i really need to get my name changed and i have no PTO because I got married and I overdrafted because it was planned before I had PTO. So that's what's going on this week. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I hope you're having a great weekend whenever you're watching this. I don't know what day it is. I don't know your life. I hope your day is great though. I hope it is. Um, Lizzie is currently crying because she wants to go outside, but we don't have a fence. So she's not going outside. Or she sees a butt. I don't know what's going on. My cats, they're crazy. Me, I'm crazy. But you, I hope you're having a great day. That's all I got for now. Bye. <laughs> We're gonna play a really fun game. They know the sound of the laser light being picked up and they will get so excited. Okay. <laughs> you guys wanna play? Milo's still a little sleepy, but Lizzie. Okay, I've just learned a new thing that Lizzie does. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> Hello, me and my hot chocolate are in the Halloween spirit, so I figured, why not sit down, have a little chat, a story time, if you will. So today I'm gonna talk about my like spookiest encounter in honor of Halloween being this week. And let me start preface by saying I truly, for the longest time, was a skeptic of like spirits, ghosts, the whole shebang. Um, I was raised in a religious household. I still am a believer in God. And so like for me, like obviously I believed in like demons and things of that nature, possession, things like that. Um, but the actual idea of ghosts or spirits was something that I was just like, mm, I don't know about that. Um, but I've always been a big fan of things like Ghost Hunters, which, you know, is probably fake, but I enjoyed my time watching it. Um, and I've always loved scary movies, um, except for Possession. I cannot handle Possession because that is real and that is terrifying. So, um, that's kind of my preface to this. Going into this experience, this was the experience that made me, like, 
I believe in ghosts. I believe in spirits. I believe in the creepy crawlies and all, all the stuff that you just don't really want to experience, but you enjoy hearing other people's stories. Um, but like, it also kind of gives you bad chills. Um, so that's where I was going into this. So we, this probably happened about a year ago. No, no, because, um, my best friend's been married a year in June. So it was probably closer to two years ago. My best friend was engaged and we were going to this um, Kirby Bridal Boutique to find her a dress. This was in Tulsa, we're in Oklahoma City um, at the time. So it was about a 45 or hour and 45 minute drive maybe. I don't know, I don't really know. I don't remember, I've only been in Tennessee a month and I can't remember anything about Oklahoma. But it was a little bit of a drive, so we were going for the weekend. We figured, let's just get an Airbnb, spend time with the people we love. And mind you, this was a big Airbnb, and we had a lot of people. I think there were like 14 or 16 people that were going to the dress fitting, and most of them were staying with us. So um, to kind of give you an idea of the people, it was myself, Deanna, the bride, um, her childhood best friend, her mother, her, her now mother-in-law, and her sister-in-law, her grandma, two of her aunts, two of her fiance's cousins. I can't remember if there was anyone else or if I'm leaving anyone out, but there were about 14 of us that were actually, oh, and um, one of her friends that she met through her husband. But anyway, besides the point, there were a lot of us there in this house. And the way the house was set up was there were a couple bedrooms downstairs, a couple bedrooms upstairs, and this like really grand staircase that you had to take to get to the rooms upstairs. And then there were like a pull out, a couch, a pull out couch, um, and a couple of air mattresses. So we had most people downstairs. The only people that were sleeping upstairs were myself and Deanna in one room, and then her childhood best friend and her mom in the other room. So we get there first, of course, uh, because she's the bride. So we go to actually check in with the Airbnb. And we, of course, we're nosy. We go to explore the whole house, the whole um, land, because there was like a barn out there. There was a whole bunch of stuff. So the first thing we do is we go through all the rooms. We decide our room. We pick our room. So this room, queen bed, right as you walk in, um, the, I believe there was like a wardrobe, like an armoire right beside my room. I'm having like, I don't remember that part very well, but for some reason I'm picturing that now. Um, and then there was like a little fireplace. Don't think it actually burned any fires in it. It was just a fireplace with this picture of this creepy woman on it. Didn't really think twice about it. Just figured like it's a creepy picture. There she is. Um, and then there's this closet to the right of the fireplace. And let me tell you, we opened this closet. There's no rail to hang clothes. There's not even a shelf to place things on. It is a closet that's maybe a foot or two deep. And the only thing in this closet is this little like toy baby basket and a creepy doll. Like that's it, it's just in there. So we open it, we aptly name her Annabelle and we close it. <laughs> we go through the room um, and connected to the room was a bathroom, kind of like a Jack and Jill bathroom, except for that instead of going to another bathroom or another bedroom um it had an entrance to our bedroom and then an entrance to the hall and that was the only way that you could get in so outside the hall the other side is the other bedroom and then downstairs doesn't really matter to the story um we explore the house we decide to go explore the land so we're walking all around it's a really nice piece of land there's a big pool they've got a grill we get to the barn, we go into the barn because like up, it's got like an upstairs entrance. Um, and in there is like this big, beautiful room that could be a, honestly like a wedding venue. It was really cute. Um, we go back downstairs, we're walking by the barn, back over to the house and let me tell you, something starts knocking on this barn. Knocking, like knocking. And you hear this like moaning sound coming out of it. And like, just another preface, I grew up, my grandpa was a, f I mean, he's still alive, but he's retired. He was a farmer at one point. He grew up on very old farmland with old barns. Deanna, her in-laws live on a farm, old farmland, old barns. We both understand they make noise. 
and we've heard every noise that could possibly come from this kind of fixture. This is not a particularly old looking barn. And I understand that barns can still like make noises and things. But when I tell you I'm hearing like knocking, it really kind of shook me. And I don't get shook like that ever, ever. I just don't get scared like that. So we kind of look at each other. We're like, I don't think I like that. I don't think we're gonna come back out here. So we walk back to the house. So the day comes and goes, everybody is come in slowly from Kansas, Oklahoma. We're enjoying our time and then comes bedtime. So I naturally, I'm always the first one to fall asleep. So I fall asleep and um, Deanna then comes to bed later. And for some reason, I remember waking up and my arm is like over the bed. And I don't like that because, um, I, because I believe in demons, okay? <laughs> I believe in demons and the idea that a demon could come and like touch me, that bothers me. Like I never thought ghosts, I just always thought demons. And so I kind of pull my, my hand in and I'm kind of half asleep. And Deanna is like, are, are you awake? And I'm like, yeah. She was like, um, at, at, at any point, did I, was when I was losing my mind, did you get up and go to the bathroom? I said, no. She was like, I've been trying to sleep for a while, um, but I felt like a distinct weight at the corner of your side of the bed. Like I could feel it, like somebody sitting. I was like, no, I've been, I've been asleep. I'm an old lady. So this freaked me out a little bit. So at this point, I'm not gonna fall asleep. <laughs> so we're sitting there, we're kind of just chit-chatting back and forth, a little spooked, a little just like, and that's when the bathroom light goes on, just boom. And so Deanna and I look at each other. Deanna goes, Kayla, that's her childhood best friend who's in the room with her mom. No response. We look at each other, both lighting, and you go look. So we go look. There's absolutely nobody in there. Look. I go, I, I go into the hallway and look down the stairs. Kayla's downstairs. Her mom's downstairs. And let me tell you again, this was a very grand staircase. Like it took a lot to like, you. if, if you were to run or to walk fast, somebody would hear you, um, especially where our room was, like right by the stairs. And I cannot tell you how spooked I was. Now I'm, I'm sure like in my mind I can go and be like, oh, it's an electrical issue. I cannot believe that it was an electrical issue. No, 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 nay, nay. My knees really hurt from sitting here, by the way. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was that was pretty much it as far as like we experienced. But um, afterwards, when we're all leaving, um, her aunt had slept on the couch and downstairs, like directly facing the stairs in the hallway upstairs and she we were kind of telling her the last day like this the stuff had happened and we were just a little freaked out and she was like oh oh good because I was experiencing a lot of stuff too and I, I don't want to scare anybody I was like oh great we just stayed at a haunted Airbnb so that's it that's all I have like it was kind of a lackluster story but let me tell you it freaked me out to my core and I will never stay there again I wonder if I can find pictures of it and like post it throughout here but let me tell you never again don't stay there it freaked me out i mean nothing bad happened to me i just could never sleep there okay bye if you remember in my like first or second vlog i um did a haul of color pops hocus pocus collection i swatched everything and then i noticed halfway through swatching that um my swatch was smeared and then later found out it was on my favorite jeans. They're super cute. They don't look cute like this, but they're a super cute like paper paper bag mom jean. I love them. It mostly came out, but there's just a little stain. And I'm so sad about it. But it ain't gonna stop me from wearing it. Good morning from the vehicle. As you can see, I'm looking my tip top best today, having some leftover Halloween cookies for breakfast. I got my chai to go. Usually I just put it in a mason jar, but had to put it in the big cup that would fit in the car today. 
Um, to be honest, I really didn't want to get out of bed today. I was so tired and listen, I like to be in bed by like eight. <laughs> I don't, I'm an old lady. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell you. Yesterday was a lot of fun. Um, we had a little, um, like a Halloween potluck amongst neighbors. Um, we live on a pretty small street. There's not a lot of people. Um, and it was just really fun. I made these cookies and I made French dip sliders, two of my favorite things to make. Um, my brows today, this is leftover soap brows and they're just not as big as I want them to be, but that's fine, it's fine. Um, the French dip sliders are always a hit. Everybody always loves them. They're so easy, it's unreal. Um, but these cookies, I make these cookies every year for Austin's birthday um, since the first year we were dating. And they are so, so good. Um, they're pudding cookies. And the fun thing about these is that the older they are, the better they get. So this is day two, way better than yesterday. After a week, they're still going strong. Um, if they've lasted that long, they usually don't, but we'll see because Austin's on this health kick. I'm eating and talking, that's so rude, I'm sorry. What's happening though? Um, I am actually headed to Target because you know it's November 1st and I used to be that gal that was like, no, you can't decorate for Christmas until after Thanksgiving, but no, it's on this year. I'm decorating today, I am so excited. Um, we don't have a ton of Christmas decorations, but we do have um, like a good tote full of them. So we are going to do that. I'm headed to Target um, to get command stri strips and hooks. So let's go. Oh man, the dollar spot has some real good stuff this year. These were $5. I think everything was $5 except for this little tree was three. But the big tree, five. I'm so excited. I love all of them. This is so hard. I absolutely love Target Christmas cards. I bought these last year and I'm gonna frame one for art just because I love it. I had seen a picture of this tree with this like fair isle print um, etched in the glass online and thought they were out but <sighs> took one last trip through my mom proud of me and I found one left. I'm so excited. The tree has been out for not five seconds and we already have two little kitties trying to get in trouble they're being good so far our tree has seen far better days i haven't fluffed it all the way yet but we have a couple of sections that are just the the lights are out this section here and then this section down here and so she's she's gonna do the trick this year but next year we are definitely getting a new tree um preferably one without multicolored lights this was all that they had left the year that we bought this, which was like three years ago. So she's done her job, but it, it's time for a new tree. But we still love her, especially the kittens. Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth, we don't climb the tree. Man, Milo loves the Christmas tree. This has always been his favorite thing since he was a kitten. Also, I got this super cute Halloween package in the mail. Not gonna show the front because it has my place of work as well as my address, but I was so excited. And it was this cute little like Halloween little gift, like the littlest thing I've already dug into the candy. <laughs> but this little Halloween cup, I love holiday cups. I don't have my ring on again. Oops, I was cleaning. It has one of these amazing pens from the 90s. Do you guys remember these? Oh my god, I used to love them. And a whole bunch of like fruity candy, which is my favorite. A little spider ring, a little bouncy ball that I'm sure will be my cats, and just more candy. But this is just like the cutest little thoughtful thing that they didn't have to do, and especially I didn't think that they would do since, oh no, I missed, dang it, <laughs> um, since I'm in Tennessee now, but it's so sweet of them to include me and send that. Cutie cutie. Ma'am. Ma'am, can I help you? You are in trouble. Ma'am. I don't know how to get you out of here without hurting both of us. Okay, this is gonna be fun. The mug rack is also updated with Christmas mugs and plates. These are some of my favorite plates. I got these at TJ Maxx when I worked there a few years ago. They're so cute. I wish I had gotten the whole collection. 
but these were the only two that ever came in. Um, Anthropology has a really cute set of 12 Days of Christmas plates, and I want them all, but they're really expensive. Some other decor we have up are these cute trees. I got these at Walmart last year. They were like $3 a piece, I think. Um, I love the center ones, the buffalo plaid, as well as, I mean, I love both of them, but I really love the buffalo plaid ones, but I like those a lot. Again, I got this back in the day when I worked at TJ Maxx. I got this on clearance. Super cute, just little believe sign. We love bells around here for Christmas. This sign I don't think I filmed. I got this at Walmart as well. This was a little more expensive. This was $24, um, but it's so cute. And it's not like super Christmassy. Like, I don't know that I, is Go Tell It on the Mountain a Christmas song or is it just a hymn? I don't know. Um, I think I might keep it up all year round because it's so cute. The frame is just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. And then I love, like, if you get up close to it, you can kind of see like it's a paper texture. It's really, really cute. And I love the watercolor trees and the mountains. I love it all. This sign again was from Walmart. It was super cheap. I don't remember how much, but I remember being surprised. Um, this is one of my favorite Christmas songs and it's just on this super cute, I don't know, it's like a, almost like a fabric, like a canvas um, with these cute little wood frames and the beads on the top are really cute. I love it. And then we have the entryway table. I love the way that this came out. This sign is super subtle, which I really love. I like, listen, I love all types of Christmas decor, but just this really cute sign from Walmart it says Merry Christmas on the leather, but also has the wood. Love that. Um, I do need to get some actual like Christmas greenery, but for now, this will do. Um, this I got today, my pride and joy. I love this piece. It's from Target. Um, I'd seen a picture of them online. They had two different sizes, could not find them anywhere. Finally went for like a final sweep through the store and saw one and I had to have it. And then this is from Walmart. Love it. Nice like wood. I don't know what you would call that, but it's um, not wood. Wood on the side. This white, like an, almost like enamel. I don't know, something. It's cute. It's really cute. It was super cheap. Um, these bottle brush trees, were from Dollar Tree last year. They probably have them again this year. They're so cute. They came in like a pack of two, I think, for of course everything's a dollar, which is a great price on those. I have wanted these little ranch houses for years. Like ever since they started getting popular, I've loved them. When I was at Target today, I had put just the regular white ones that everyone has in my cart. And then I saw these with the black accent which you guys know I love all over my house, white and black. So I love that they had them. This bowl I've had for a few years. Um, and then this was from the Target dollar spot as well. This was $3 and I love her.